welcome back. So, as you saw in the title of this video, it is making bales and probably something about a barn. So, first of all, I just wanted to show you this little other barn I'm making. It is very similar to this one over in the corner there. This kind of threw it behind the, the bandsaw. Um, but, yeah, so this one I just kind of put up. Use some wood I cut with the bandsaw. I made a little jig and then balsa wood. Goes up really easy. Um, sometime I want to try to make a video of what I do and stuff when I'm making these barns. So yeah. So here's some bales I already made. Um, these ones are kind of in progress. They don't have the netting on yet. And then here's a really good example of one that has netting on and everything that is good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. There are videos out there that. I watched the one that told me how to do these. Um, I have a couple different things I do, or mostly adding one. So I just kind of want to walk you through a bale, and yeah. we use. Um, I just we cut off of our um, our little square bales um, on the farm, and then we save them. So there's a green for the hay, and then I mix in a little of. Ugh, you can see it. This um, it's like natural. It's this is dyed green. This is natural, and it kind of adds a little bit more to the bales. Plus, you can make a straw bale out of it. So, Lily, if you see anything in the background, like over here, that is my sister Lily. Um, she's like braiding some stuff together, and she just kind of want to be out here at the workbench with me. So, yeah. Anyways, um, this is the chopper I use. Now you can use scissors, cause it doesn't really matter what you use. So I'm just gonna chop up fresh bank off get rid of that all right and then what you use is you can use scissors or a knife to just snip the tiniest little bit off at a time um so i have a chopper it makes it faster um so maybe if i put you like here yeah is that one you can kind of see what i'm doing and yeah so that's the first step. You have to cut bale rip, and you can also use like twine or something you get at a um like a crafts. It also works good. So yeah. It does take a while. Luckily, I already have some done. And it's also nice out, so if you hear my dog barking out there at the neighbor dogs, ignore it. Um, so here's a cup of the stuff I already got. It's kind of high there. So what we got to do is get some tape. Okay, so let's see. Um, to do this, you're going to get, okay, you're on, there we go, there we go. Okay, good. You have to get scotch tape like this. Um, and get a big roll. Cut. Okay. okay, and that's kind of too small, but it should be okay. So you get little pieces and attach it down on ends. There you go. And then put this stuff down on. And then what you should do too is spread it around, make sure it's all over as much as it wants to be, and then roll it down. Flat and roll it out. Or something weird like I am, cut the ends. All right, and this is where it gets kind of long. You're gonna need tweezers and roll it up. Well, actually, I forgot a step quick. Flip it over and shake all the excess off. Good. And roll up. This bale's a little small because I accidentally didn't make it big enough. Oops. Okay. Roll it up. Just loosely.
Alright, and then pull it tight. And then you have to get your tweezers in there and pull it even tighter. And then just kind of twirl it around in. And I'll show you after it's all wound up. Glue the glue the bell shut. And that's pretty much it. And then I got this real net stuff that is from like a craft store. It's pretty see-through, obviously. And then you wrap it on the bale. So cut it. Um, I have this other bale I had. Or stocker to bales where too. I got these from Outback Toys. And trace it down and then use scissors to cut it out and then wrap it around and glue it in. And then you'll get a finished product like this. So all it is is you'll pretty much hold it on and wrap it until you have nothing left. Um, don't choose a strand too long otherwise you might end up making it look white instead of a wrap. But yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, the reason I'm making these bales is actually, well, obviously for myself and also for my friend NS NCFT13. So go check out his channel. You should find him through my channel where you go to subscriptions. Um, he only has one video up, but he's planning on making more. So um, get a subscriber count up, and then he'll be more encouraged, I'm sure, because that's how I was. And then have a good day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and Thanks for stopping by.